What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, and in this food adventure, I'm taking on the ultimate cheeseburger challenge at Rocker's Steakhouse. But before talking more about this battle at hand, this is day 35, challenge number 22 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this particular battle, I'm at Rocker's Steakhouse in Cambridge, England, taking on the ultimate Rocker's Burger Challenge. Now with this food challenge, you have a stacked burger, which consists of 24 ounces between the beef and chicken patties. Then this thing is also topped with a beanie patty, which is basically a meatless burger patty alternative made with beans. Then you also got like four kinds of cheese in there, some veggies mixed in there throughout. Then you also got some onion rings, which I'm always excited to see those. Then you also have a side of coleslaw and uh, you got a side of chili cheese fries. And we'll talk more about this a little later in the video. But anyways, you have 30 minutes to finish this entire challenge, which considering the last few challenges I've done, that seems like an eternity. But I assure you, that's not a whole lot of time, especially for anyone who doesn't have a whole lot of food fighting experience wanting to try this challenge out. But if you're able to conquer this within the 30 minute time limit, you are rewarded with the free meal, which costs 35 British pounds. And you also get a free shirt and your picture up on their wall of fame. So as far as strategy goes on this one, I'll just be honest. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably seen me do a bunch of burger challenges at this point. And if you haven't, well, you should go watch a handful of burger challenge videos because it won't take you long to see that there's a very obvious pattern how I go about and attack these burger challenges. But in this case, I did want to point out a few things that happened in this particular food adventure. Because first, man, I gotta say, these buns were so nice fluffy and easy to eat, so I figured I'd eat them with some of the beef and the chicken patties, which worked out great and I thoroughly enjoyed that. But also, I wanted to say that I was definitely looking to set up a big old base in my belly before attacking those chili cheese fries because, well, because they, they had those dreaded jalapenos. And <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what it is. I do like to have heat with my meals normally, but there's something about jalapenos during a food challenge. It just hits differently and uh, it hurts differently too. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a great segue into this video's question of the day, which is, how am I with spicy food? And uh, guessing from what I just said, it shouldn't come as a shocker when I tell you, well, it's not my strongest food type to battle, which is why I don't have many videos that feature spice. Though I will say I would like to build up my spice tolerance just so I could embark on more heated adventures in the future. But when will that happen? Who knows? But I would love to see where it can lead, as long as it's not to the nearest toilet for hours on end. So anyways, as far as my thoughts go on this challenge, in terms of the setup, I'm giving it a thumbs up because there's so many layers to this thing that make it unique, which I love to see with a food challenge. You've got the chicken patties, you got the beanie patty, and you even have some of the uncommon items like coleslaw and onion rings. And of course, you got the chili cheese fries, which even though those jalapenos may spell R.I.P. to my B-U-T-T, that's a risk I'm willing to take if it means getting something that's better than the typical cookie cutter, plain Jane, bland type of fries. And of course, as always, it's got the gold standard for winning, which is the free meal, the free shirt, and your picture up on the wall of fame for completing the challenge. And as for the taste, again I'm giving this one a thumbs up because everything with this challenge tasted great. And let me say this, if you're watching this and you think the food looks good, I can assure you, it tastes just as good as it looks. You have so many flavors with this challenge to experience, and it all mixes and matches very well. And it also has a good balance, so no one particular flavor seems to dominate your palate. Also with the beanie patty, it was a bit different, but I had no complaints about it. Though I will say that I probably wouldn't want to do an entire challenge made of beanie patties, because I could see in that case where flavor fatigue would start to catch up with you very quickly. But I think one to two beanie patties for a challenge would be quite enjoyable. And with that being said, if you made it this far and you're enjoying your time watching, I would greatly appreciate it if you took a few seconds to leave a little magic of your own by liking the video and leaving a comment or a question for the next question of the day down below if you want to see more food adventures like this one, assuming that those jalapenos just don't absolutely wreck my body, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a single video and I'll see you in the next food adventure. Now there is what Adam with beard meets food would leave on his plate. Let's see what Mitch knows.